is accounted for. So I put the uh, the other prison, uh, even though I've got one there, I uh, put the other one, the second one, or the third one I've got, a bit further down, so the beam will be, uh, but the trouble is, because of the oscillation, the, the, not, oh God, it's oscillation, because of the fluctuation of the, uh, the signal, the, the, you know, sometimes it overlaps, the, um, so I think I should, I think maybe I should go in a little bit more closer near to where the um, <clears throat> where the uh, Pringle can is located. Um, otherwise, the beam would slightly overlap over not overlap over the um, the prism. Oh, it's like green lightsabers. <laughs> but I like now I got the this signal kind of like over this side and going over this side but needs to be a little bit needs to be a little bit more um, affected This is really laser reacting to TH Dolby Stereo THX JPL. <laughs> uh, this is only a, one of these short clips on YouTube. Sort of every battle scene from Return of the Jedi. Ready to standing by. Ray leader standing by. Needs to be on the uh, video projector. But something like this can't just be, you know. So like this, a set, something like this. That the way I'm thinking will take will take months. Will take months to set it up. It's not so it could be just set up. It, it, um, but my experience, I've got very little. But I catch on. <laughs> just as anyone would have the first time when they probably tried experimenting. You know, like I've seen this uh, this technique with this, particularly with the smoke effect, which looks cool. You know, that effect's been going around since the 1970s, like um, Star Trek motion picture, Dracula, um, Final Countdown, Oct Octopussy, uh, and I think maybe a little bit in um, View to a Kill. That's more or less like looking right down the axis of it. I would put my eye there. <laughs> I could put my safety goggles on and look down at that angle. So I've got my safety goggles there. 
so I've so put my safety goggles on. Also, it dims the laser and then such. So I'm literally looking right at the moment. I'm looking literally looking right down the axes of the uh, the laser. Um, quite safely, just to just to get an actual, you know, because the camera is not going to see very well because of the. Um, Take them, take them off now, because it's not going. You know, if I put the camera there, you get too much, um, too much of a hot spot. And I got to adjust the ISO on the camera. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so cool. Because if I move my camera in where this laser is here. It reflects all course, it reflects off the, uh, the camera's um, metallic kind of, you know, thing. And I can kind of point the laser moving the camera. But if I had a, another mirror to reflect. <laughs> Split up and head back to the surface. See if we can get a few of those high fighters to follow you. Copy, go leader. Wow. Diabolical. No way. No way. Once you got a constant... Sp I mean, how do they... Na like, say, you got to have thrusters all over the blimmin' thing. you got to slow, slow, decelerate your speed, accelerate your speed, change your course. What, what are they using? <laughs> You try doing that conventionally today, you crash. Just like the Falcon almost. Bought it. Oh! Cool. But when you look at it today, you know, all this photo photochemical effect. I think I'm just uh, kind of getting, um, what's the word, um, maybe excited, Eccent eccentrically excited. Because it, it just looks wild with the laser. <laughs> I've got a blue one, maybe it may arrive today, but that's kind of, push, that's kind of pushing it, because, you know. Um, and then everyone then, you know, probably sometime late tonight, or I don't know, I don't know, they... That's, I don't know. It, it said really realistically it arrived at 27, but I don't really expect anything to arrive today. You know, it's New Year's, it's not New Year's, it's uh, what do you call it? Um, Christmas Eve, yeah, yeah. We've lost our Need more smoke. Intensify the smoke! I don't want any starship, spaceship getting through! I just don't know. I just don't know. I just don't know. I know some maybe hitting it, and then <laughs> I, don't know. I would expect them quite going the way they're going, which is kind of forward. The vast expanding universe is damn. In that space, that thing's pressurised. They wouldn't be going that way. They'd be going the opposite direction. No way. They'd be going forward. They'd be literally sucked out the opposite direction. <laughs> it would have been better if they tried doing that. That sort of because it would have looked kind of then more realistic. Um, because it's like comparing something with down. You know, yeah, it's physics. You know, it's physics. But a bit better if, if George Lucas revisioned that and then have them being sucked out through the freaking window and, and getting and hitting well I don't know they'd be instantly frozen because it's minus 455 Fahrenheit and they'll get instantly frostbite that's it toast 
That is funny. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> This was mind blowing when it came out in the cinema. It's mind blowing. <laughs> you wouldn't see anything like this on TV. <laughs> yeah, that's simple what photochemical effect. Superimposing and such. Of course the model didn't get obliterated. Just but this kind of whole thing kind of is inspirational to thinking of um, other um, you know lasers and so like like it like it just, if I want to go sort of like not too over the top because it can get you know not too pricey it's just maintaining the thing it's just maintaining the lasers and make it then and, and I can't just sort of like yeah I've got to fix them down they've got to be securely fixed in position and otherwise my cats are going to be all over them and they just get misaligned <laughs> that's of course when my cats show curious curious curiosity curiosity interested in this what is this? Ooh, it glows. It flashes. Ooh, it does this. Ooh. Ooh, what's this here? Ooh. Oh, it doesn't do it anymore. Ooh. Ooh, why is that? I think I know where I think this... this should more or less this should be coming from it's got to be coming from a certain angle it's going to be coming from upward uh, downward angle sideward angles but um, mm. I think where the prism's placed I'm probably getting maybe down on this side probably minimising some of the um, yeah so it's got it's got to be in a sort of like 50-50 position Well, you know, you know what this reminds me it reminds me of seeing that bloody movie with um, I think it's called Residence something Resident Resident looking uh, evil. I think there's a laser here. There's, I'm block. I'm thinking it's like an object. I've got to pass through it, and it's like Resident Evil. It kind of creeps me out. <laughs> It's a trap. Yeah, it's a tra it's a laser trap. <laughs> it's a laser trap.
Lasers. Accelerate to the Draw Look at that. I've got lasers going literally. How many in how many positions? And if I can calculate. Turn the, let's turn the fader down. If I, if I can calculate in where, like I say, certain. But I'll, I'll be able to get it off the surrounds, literally. Um, and I think. Um, I think I've got something. I think I've already got something in mind there uh, to do it off the surrounds, um, as well as the overheads, because everyone's raving about overheads. I don't know why. <laughs> Overhead surrounds have been around since the late 1960s. Um, I like it there. I like that being there, where it's uh, it's going right up here onto the uh, to the AVR right there. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, it's got a green laser in it, Death Star. I forgot about that, I thought it was red. Oh, my little Pringle can resonated there on the desk. <laughs> a bit more smoke. Fire. Replay. <laughs> Bit a little bit intensified there on the uh, 